Oh, oh no! Oh, what is this? This is getting really bad, guys. Mmm, the soy sauce, guys. Look at this guys This is one of the most beautiful lake that I have ever visited I'm hitting something. I think it's a wood trunk. I think it's a trunk. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of wood trunk over here. I mean, maybe maybe this underwater tree or something. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode. As promised, I've come to the promised land or promised lake. <laughs> it's one of the biggest and the most prettiest and most beautiful lake that I have ever visited. It took me around one and a half hour to reach here and I actually slept late. I was trying to sleep at 9 p.m. so I can wake up by 3 but all else fails you know when you get excited you can't sleep. But anyway let's get going. I need to rig up my stuff first and I actually upgraded some stuff with my kayak. I've reasoned my seat so I can Put my hand down on the bottom and get my stuff. I'm gonna use one popper. I'm already hearing fish jumping. Um, let's try using these bullet loaders. The silver one. Hmm, this one looks nice. And you can't go wrong with this. The one with the red head, they love this thing. Get my stuff. And let's go. Oh wait, you rig my rock. <laughs> Come on, right. Oh good luck. Whoa. Almost got into a tree. Nothing yet. 
I need to adjust my waist back. This thing is bulky. Okay, we're gonna do the most important thing. Report my safety to my wife. This is the most important thing. Oh, dress network here. Perfect. Okay, bye, let's go. Right, let's get going. I think I'm gonna start casting everywhere that I see that there's potential fish. I don't know guys, I, 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 I can't talk now. I'm actually still very sleepy with all the driving and the lack of sleep. <laughs> Flamingo. Yeah, it's obviously not working here. There's no fish jumping or feeding. So I think I'm gonna change my spot. Let's go. Turn. Stop turning. <laughs> Maybe because I'm too fat. I'm actually dieting right now. Uh, lost about three kilograms out of the past few weeks. Cause I, I actually tried. I actually tried to come over here uh, during my birthday week, which is 9th October. But I got into a very very bad flu. A very bad cold. Uh, I think I got a high fever. Not high fever, but a normal fever for a whole week. <coughs> I think if I cough now. And then I infected my wife and my mother-in-law in the process. <laughs> so they're a bit ridden for the for the not for the past one week, but my wife is recovering. My mother-in-law in the other hand is not doing well. She is still sick. <laughs> Something's feeding with her. And there's a fisherman over there. Fishing is netting. Yeah, yeah, he's casting nets. There's some fish feeding over there. Not something big. You never know if something's gonna bite. Nope, nothing. Oh my god. This is one big, big lake. I think it's so beautiful out here. Man. So it's not too hot, and I see fish jumping in front. I'm going there quick. So the big one over there jumping as well. Okay, this bull lures is definitely not casting far enough. Let's change it up. I might use a spinner. Yeah, I think a spinner is a good choice. I reckon it's gonna be very hot later. There's a big globe over there. There's a big globe over there. See that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. The fish bites in the morning. I don't think the fish is... I don't really see much activity on the surface. I'm gonna change my bait to a swim bait. No, not swim bait. Uh, what do they call that again? Jerk bait. Yeah, I'm gonna change it to this jerk bait. Do a U-turn. See if anything else. Gonna find a new spot. I mean, I need to hunt places where the fish is feeding. There's obviously a lot of bait fish over there. Okay, obviously nothing is biting here. I'm gonna move to another place. Maybe I'll try to go over there. I'm gonna try going over there. But I did saw I think two or three fish over there over there feeding just now a moment ago. Sun is rising. 
Is that a cow? That's a good camping spot. I might come here to camp one day. This looks very fishy though. <laughs> Wow, today is a very very beautiful day guys. It's not hot, it's cold, there's a slight breeze. Usually it's very very hot. Maybe it's still early in the morning. We'll see how you know it. The sun is really coming down. Need some water. Where's my cold water? Here you are. Oh, that feels so much better. Right, I think I need to find somewhere to park my boat and solve this thing. Oh, it's a scupper. It's not working very well. See all these waters come up. Getting really hot here, guys. My kayak is actually taking in water just now, so because of the scupper, it's not sealing it tightly. So, so I drag my kayak up over there at that land, scoop up all the water, and try to retake the, try to retight the scupper. I hope it works. You know, for a second, I thought this was a trash, like a trash bottle, but now I look at it, it's like there's a rope attached to it. I wonder what's in there. Some kind of trap. Oh yes, it is trap. Mm, nope, nothing inside. <laughs> I think someone put this trap over here to catch. Maybe prawns, shrimp, lobster, crawdads. Oh my god, I think he just caught something. He was so lucky. Tongjang <laughs> toa. Oh, <laughs> So I meet the fisherman over there and he says most of the fish over here, you have to use bait or chicken breast to catch those snake heads. I've been casting for, I don't know, since 7 o'clock in the morning. I got nothing at all. I've been chasing some fries and some blow ups, nothing bites. I'm gonna try to use the weedless bait, I mean the weedless lure, and try to drag on the bottom, to see if any fish bite on the bottom. Oh my god, I hope it, I hope it works. Oh, it's so hot. It's getting really hot here guys, not joking, it's burning me. I need to put the umbrella for my phone, the phone is overheating. One of the downsides, living in Malaysia, the weather is constantly hot, well, at least in the afternoon. Right guys, I'm gonna try using the trick the fisherman taught me. I did get some bait from him, so I'm gonna try to, what do you call that? Uh, chum, yeah, chumming. I'm gonna chum one side of an area and then wait for a while from another side and try to cast the, the area that I chumped. Cut up the chicken breast. Okay. 
Let's go to ship now. This one's not so hot. Oh man. The heat is killing me. Oh, right. I'm parked. Oh, my GoPro. Almost lost my GoPro. <laughs> yeah, so I need this. Tassel. Tassel, guys. Tata. Tassel? Tata? How do I pronounce it? I don't care. It's hot. Right, we got a hook. Got a chicken breast. Gonna go through it. Just like this. Should I go with one more? I think this is good enough. I'm gonna cast it right into the middle of the spot that where I jump and hope I got something. Cause that guy just got two snake hits. I think I should have put a weight. Yeah, I should have really put a weight there. Let me get a lead out. I think I need something like this. Oh, something's taking a bit. Something's taking a bit, guys. Here we go. Oh yes, guys. <laughs> yes. Got something. Got something, guys. Got something. Oh my God! Finally. 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 Oh, it's pulling. It's pulling. Finally, got something. Oh, first cast. First cast with the bait. Oh shit! <laughs> spooling, spooling, spooling! Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh no! I lost it. He broke my. He broke my line. What the hell? <laughs> but now I know there's fish there, so I'm gonna rig it up and try it again. I think it's because it's rubbing on the on the on the trunk or something. Come on, I need to park my boat. This spot is all right. Something definitely biting, but it's not pulling. Oh yeah, got something, guys. Got something. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is not what I'm searching for. Oh, I think this is called Lampang. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm keeping this guy. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna lose you. I'm not gonna lose you. I'm not gonna lose you. Okay, this is what we call Lampang fish. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 okay. All right. Oh my god, it's almost hooked me. Almost got me. Okay, okay, okay. Chew, 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 chew. I think in, in English it's called barb fish or something. Yeah, I think it's called barb fish. But I'm quite confident to say that this was not the fish that I was fighting just now. The one that I lose the line. Because the one that I was fighting is so much more bigger, guys. It's taking drag. Hey, since the chicken breast is working. Now give it another go. Hell yeah! Alright guys, last cast. Last cast, and I'm moving to another spot. Nope. <clears throat> Nothing. It's pulled my bait. Okay, I'm in a new spot now. And the sun is just cooking me. While I'm paddling, that's a bit further. Okay, okay, something's definitely right. One, two, three. Oh yeah, got something. Got something, guys. Got something. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, go, go, go. This is nice one. This is nice one. This is nice one. Keep the tail. 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 Ke
tension up. Keep the tension up. Oh, please be a snake hit. Please be a snake hit. Please be a snake hit. Oh! It's going under the lock. Please don't go in there. Come out. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to endure it. Oh my god. This is the first time I got the fish stuck in this kind of position and I have no idea what can I do <laughs> and I broke the line again I broke the line I have to retie again okay guys third try the charm <sighs> the second this is the second time that I break my line today I think it's the same fish, which is a snakehead. Only those kind of fish fight fights that hard, and they like to borrow in deep into this kind of lily pads. Oh my god! Oh, they're trying to drag that fish out for a good twenty minutes, I think. Oh my god! It's not a fun thing to do. There's a very big storm coming on my way. So I think the best course of action is I need to go back to where I start from. I need to go back to the ramp. And I need to go back quick. God, storm is coming. See those storms? The rains and everything? Thunder strike? Oh yeah, the wind is blowing over here. I need to go now quick. Oh this is getting really bad guys. I'm trying to go to that spot over there. So I can land my kayak and find some shelters. Oof. And this is the workout. Huh? Pull the whole kayak up just in case it swam off. That's tiring. That is very very tiring. Oh my god, I think I burned more than 100 cal calories in less than a minute. This is a very nice place to camp though. I might come here to camp next time. Look at this place. It's raining. <laughs> For food, at least. This sneakers always oh, all melted. We got melted sneakers here. <laughs> oh wait, I can put it into the ice box. I'm gonna put this in the ice box. Let it cool down. So I have a fresh new sneakers to eat. In order for me to relax a little bit from this storm, this chair is actually installed with a, what I'd say, contraption. Oh, there's raining dogs and cats here. You see this here? This thing here is actually an umbrella holder. I specifically installed this thing just in case stuff like this happen. We can put it to good use. I think this is good enough. <laughs> Not much, but it's better than nothing. Great, the rain stopped. And now I'm hungry. I still haven't eaten my stickers yet. So I think I'll just cook up, cook up my fish. I'm gonna marinate with a Japanese soy sauce. Then only I will start barbecuing. <laughs> I'm gonna start grilling with my mini grill. Initially, I was trying to grill it on top of my kayak, but ah, the rain and everything. Maybe I'll do it next time. Grilling on top of my kayak. That'll be nice. <laughs> Take my nut cage. Is the fish alive? Oh yeah, it's still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna bong this fish. <coughs> I bought myself a bonker. <laughs> I got a bonker. <laughs> oh, you see this? We were so close. This thing is actually, it's actually open. Wow, we are lucky. 
I just need to bleed him. Right, let this guy bleed. This thing is very useful. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to clean my fish and the rain just came pouring down again. It's not as serious as the initial one, the first one, but it is still raining. Right, now I'm going to quickly fillet this fish. Scale it first. Because if I got it first, the meat is going to be all soft and it's hard for me to scale after that. So, scale first. Oh yeah, that's a lot of guts. Let's fillet it. Not sure how do we do it with this fish, but I think as usual. Go down the spine. Oh yes, that guys is a clean cut. Now that's too beautiful fillet. I brought this whole cooking set just to cook on my top of my kayak, but too bad. I'm gonna cook it on, I'm gonna cook it on the land right now. And this is the soy sauce I've been talking about. This is actually a shot bottle, like a vodka bottle, but I put the Japanese soy sauce over here. Got a liar. Some charcoal, sea salt. Well, it's, it's actually smoked salt. This is the barbecue set I've been talking about. I've been trying to use this one for a very long time. I got this one from my brother-in-law for my birthday last year. Let me tell you, this is one of the best grill that I've, I've ever seen. I have the the pokey thing inside. I'm not using that. I'm gonna use the grill. And I have, it comes in a set. You have these tongs and this needle thing. This is where I put the charcoal. It's not really that big. It's about it's less than one foot. I think it's about six inch. <laughs> I told you it's small. Oh my god. It's been a long day guys. And it's still raining, it's still drizzling right now. And it sucks. Put some of the soy sauce in. Oh seriously, it smells really really good. Uh, might as well just put the whole thing. <laughs> And just leave it aside. You see all the sparkling? All the oil of sparkle? It's actually the lighter fluid being ignited. So it burns faster, it gets the charcoal heat up faster. It has these small holes on the side here for airflow to go in so it burns up much more faster and much more harder. Don't throw your rubbish outside. Just just keep it back on the same bag that you bring in. Ooh, it's heating up. Oh man, it's warm. The warm fruit feels really really nice. Yeah, I think the fish is ready really nice, nice and dark. Inside down. Oh, I smell burnt. Oh, just nice. Managed to save it. That's really, really good. Oh no, oh no, it's falling off. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm cooking this way for the rest of my life. I'm gonna say that despite all the troubles that we went through, rain, the sun, the heat, and losing two fish, it's still a not bad day. It's still quite a, quite a nice day today. And now I can finally enjoy a lunch. <laughs> oh, did I save it? Did I save it? <laughs> Was able to save it. Maybe a tiny bit of mud on it, it's still good, you would die eating mud. Mmm. The soy sauce, guys. There's a lot of these hair bolts. If it were a snake, it's much more easier to eat, 
much more palatable. Snake head doesn't have that much of a uh, hair bones. Wait, wait, let me let me rephrase. Snake head doesn't have hair bones at all. They only have those rib cage bone and spine bone. That's all. That's why it's so easy to process snake head. I think that's one of the reasons that they are a very popular fish in Southeast Asia. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. Eat my lunch. Had my feel of fishing. Lost two fish. I'm still not going through that. I'm still I'm still not forgiving myself for losing that two fish. <laughs> I'm gonna say that until I catch a one big one over here in this lake. I need to pack up my stuff. Go back to on on my kayak. Back to, to back to my car. Go back to my wife. And have a rest. I still haven't got enough sleep. I think I only slept for maybe around two hours max. <laughs> but anyway, good view. Well, I think that's all guys. Gonna go back home, take a shower, have some sleep. And the next plan, I have no idea what's, what I'm planning for the next one. So maybe if you have any idea, drop me a comment, let me know. I might go for a two day one night camp. Been a while since I go for a camp. I think that, that, that works. Kayak camp catch and cook. Mm -hmm. Right, that's an idea. Keep that in mind. Right, yes, I'll see you guys next time. I think that's it. I'm gonna go around and dress myself and just try to fish whatever day I caught, uh, whatever day I can, and just try to go around and see what I can catch. Who knows? Maybe I catch a big one and I'll show you guys. <laughs>